And greetings, weather prognosticator and meteorologist Chad Merrill taking you through the forecast through Thanksgiving and also the very beginning of December. A cold front is pushed through. We have breezy winds on this Monday. High pressure will build in with quiet weather on Tuesday. And then a storm system developing in the Rockies will quickly move north and east, but start to occlude or drier air will start to wrap in. But we will still see some showers just in time for Thanksgiving. I'll get to those details in one second. First of all, if you live in western Maryland or the Laurel Highlands of Pennsylvania, you know that you had a few snow squalls on Tuesday, November 17th. A combination of cold northwest winds behind a cold front and lake effect snow produced up to three inches of snow in the highlands. Finally, some signs of winter. Well, we've been in an overall warm pattern and that will continue thanks to the Arctic glow, which is dominating our weather. That keeps the cold air bottled up in the Arctic. That will transition to a Pacific trough pattern. And as we see in this particular image, in an Arctic low pattern, the cold air stays well to the north and west across Canada. In the Pacific trough pattern, we have cold air, which stays confined to the northwest provinces of Canada and much of the east sees above average temperatures. Well, the polar vortex is going to wobble a little bit on its axis. And as it does so, it's going to send a shot, a brief shot of colder air coming down the pike for the mid-Atlantic just to start the month of December. But again, that is only a temporary pattern change. If you are traveling on Wednesday, by chance, do expect a couple of showers from 6 p.m. Wednesday to 6 a.m. Thursday in western Pennsylvania, a quarter to maybe half of an inch of rain. For the rest of the mid-Atlantic, that rain will be mainly early in the morning, so I don't think it's going to impact any 5Ks which are taking place or any outdoor football that you might want to have in the afternoon after that big meal. And the rain amounts very meager, 0.15 to maybe a quarter of an inch of rain. That's all we can expect. So not too bad of a Thanksgiving. That big system I was talking about late Sunday, the 29th through the 1st of December, that'll bring a widespread 3 fourths to 1.25 inches of rain across the mid-Atlantic. In the wake of that, wind gusts 30 to 40 miles an hour in the western mid-Atlantic, east of the mountains 40 to 45 mile an hour gust. That will usher in cold air and we'll have that lake effect snow, similar to the video we saw in Kaiser's Ridge a couple of seconds ago. That'll be the story around the 1st of December across the Laurel Highlands with one to three inches of snow. Bishop's Events has a virtual race on Saturday in Vienna. Temperatures in the 30s in the morning, low to mid 50s in the afternoon. Again, that is just a virtual race, not an in-person race. They do have an in-person race Saturday afternoon. It's the Wobble After Gobble 5K and 10K. Mostly sunny, temperatures in the mid 50s for that race. Again, it's an afternoon race and the temperature will drop to 50 degrees by the end of the 10K. On Sunday, we do have a virtual race, the Caboose Brewing 5K and 10K. Temperatures in the morning in the 30s to mid 40s, mid 50s to lower 60s in the afternoon on Sunday. That is before the storm system arrives. Mostly cloudy skies for that event. If you want to purchase the 2021 Hagerstown Town and Country Almanac, we've done a pretty good job with the forecast so far this fall. If you want to see what the winter holds in store, go to almanac.com. You can find all the details on how to purchase the 2021 Hagerstown Town and Country Almanac. Thank you for joining me today.